Hi there, welcome to the Online Academy of Irish Music. Uh, my name is Edel Fox and um, I'm here today to show you some uh, tips and uh, little tricks and skills for playing the concertina. So I suppose the first thing really that I'm going to talk about is the instrument itself that I, I have here. Um, this is uh, a concertina that I got not so long ago. Um, it's a Wally Carroll concertina but it has 30 keys. So the most stand I suppose the standard amount of, of, of keys that you would get on any concertina is 30. Sometimes people play like a 38 key concertina and that just means it has some extra buttons in the top. Um, it's a diatonic instrument so which that which means that when you pull and when you press a button such as that and you pull this this is the bellows you get one nine note. But when you press that same button and you push the bellows, you get a different note. So, I suppose the funny thing about learning the concertina is it doesn't, when you're looking for, it, say, for example, the scale of D, which is a very, very commonly used scale or a very commonly used key in Irish traditional music, when you're looking for that scale on the concertina, it doesn't follow a specific pattern as such um, because the concertina was originally built with this middle row being the key of C, okay, the same on the other side, all in the key of C. The inside row is the key of G, okay, same over here, and these outside rows are rows of accidentals, okay. So to play the key of D or the scale of D, you have to use a combination of the three rows, okay. So I'm going to show you where the very first note in the scale of D is going to be D, obviously, so I'll just show you where that is. It's with your third finger, and when I talk about fingers in the concertina, I'm referring to my first finger, second, third, and fourth, okay? So, it's on the third row, which means I must use my third finger, okay? First finger for the first row, second finger for the second row, third for the third, you use your little finger for that fourth row, and you don't really use these buttons very regularly, but if you were to use them, they're very, very low notes on the left-hand side and very high notes on the right-hand side. If you were to use them, you'd also use your little finger, okay? So again, you've got your first finger for the first row, any of those three buttons. Second finger for the second row, any of those three buttons. Third for the third row, and fourth for the fourth row. So it's the same then on the other side. To play D, the first note of the D scale, it's on the third row down, this button here, and you play it with your third finger, and you pull it. So D is on the pull. Okay? So, after D, you're going to be playing E. E is with your second finger on the second row, and you push it in. Okay? Now, in the scale of D, you're going to use F sharp. F sharp is on the inside row. This is what we call the inside row, the row in near your body. You use your little finger or your pinky finger to pull it out. So I'm going to do those three notes again for you. D is the third finger, third row on the pull. E is your second finger, second row on the push. F is your baby finger on the inside row and you pull it. G. To find G, it's on the first row with your first finger and you push it in. Okay, so D, E, F, G are quite easy to find in that it's the same uh, button as G but you pull it out. So G push, A push. Okay, so I'll do those first five notes for you again. G, e, F, G, A. Okay, then for B you're going to move to your right hand side. It's with your first finger in the middle, top row. 
and you pull it. Okay? So G, A, B, push, push. Now, so my C sharp on my concertina is here with my second finger on the push. Some of you will find it up here on the push, on the first string. On my concertina, it happens to be on the pull there. But a lot of you, I guarantee, will find it there on the push, okay? Mine happens to be here. And then to finish off, the high D that I always teach first and I always use is over here. First finger on the left hand side on the inside row. And you push it in. So, it is actually kind of hard to get to grasps with the D scale um, because there's no real pattern uh, per se, you know, to where the notes are. I suppose it's just really a case of learning off and uh, finding exactly where they are and learning them off by heart. The D scale, just to recap on it again, I'll, I'll talk over it as well so you know exactly where I am. Third finger on the third row, left hand side, pull is D. In the middle, E, second finger, push. Little finger, inside row, pull. G, first finger, push. A is that same button, but you pull. Then you move to the left hand side and you get B. Pull, first finger. C sharp, and remember my one is on the second row, yours might be on the first row. Mine is here. And then the final note, this is one of the high D's on the concertina. It's on the left hand side and you push it in. That's the one I would like you to learn first, that high D, okay? So I'll do it one more time. Okay, and when you get confident with it, you can then play it backwards. of D and do something really simple I suppose everybody knows how twinkle twinkle sounds um, we will use just some of the notes that I'm after teaching so twinkle twinkle mm -hmm. 